All right, guys, how's it going? I'm gonna just switch over to this really quick. Uh, so we're gonna start doing single pieces of data for the for the YouTube channel. That way, it's easier to search and find, and it's more on topic. And yeah, it's not a long video, so hopefully, this goes relatively quick. So this video is specifically about uh, creating masks and exporting them out packed together, right? So it won't be a full like packed mask but I just wanna show kind of the, the thought process and the workflow behind it. So right now you've got like, uh, you see I've moved the UI around a little bit. Um, we've got texture set settings and you'll see we've got our, our common channels here. When you click the little plus here, you get some extra channels that you can add, which is like if you need to export out like, I don't know, ambient occlusion that you create inside of here versus baking it, then you'll, you'll have it in here. It's up right up here. But what we're interested in is the user zero through seven, right? So if you if you press zero and then you go in and, and grab one, we can say like maybe we want the dirt and like the the scratched paint to be to be these these two. So I'll just call this one dirt, and then maybe like paint damage, right? So dirt and paint damage. Um, so if we go back to layers, you'll see. This is, these are treated just like other channels, right? So now in this dropdown, you'll have other ones, uh, yours added to here. So dirt and paint damage along with the base color and all, the, all those things. And when you press uh, C, you'll switch between all of those uh, just like you normally would. And pressing M would go back to just material overall. So what, what we're gonna do is we're going to switch to, this is like the best way to debug it and check to that what you're about to export is, is correct. So if you go dirt, this is this is what the dirt map looks like right now, which uh, I'm guessing one of the layers in here, it's probably, where is it? It's probably this one inside, is is marked for uh, as being in the dirt channel. So with that said, right now, if I right click, uh, where are we at here? I gotta be on the layer. If I right click, you can get all the options that you'd normally get right here. Uh, I've just, gotten rid of that so that I can see more of my stack and I've moved my shelf to the left here. So if I right click, you can see that dirt is in, indeed checked for um, the paint paint layer. Uh, we need to watch out for that. But where are we at here inside? So if I click on this one and then right click, you can see dirt selected and that's cool. We also need to make sure that this mask, which is the, actually the, the main primary dirt mask is also tagged with um, dirt and not paint, right? So make sure you see what these are coming through as. So we'll just say dirt. Um, and it looks like these are mixing in a way that I'm not really down with. Let me see if we can't. So, so one of the problems we're having right now is this is still black, even though the dirt has been, this layer has been tagged for dirt. And uh, if you look at the mask, it's, it's correct, right? So we do just want to export out the mask, but we need to make sure that we have a fill layer on the very bottom and that dirt is selected because you can't have opacity like this or else you're going to get um, like opacity in your mask itself. So you need like a base background color, which if I see, if I turn dirt up in the background, you'll see what's, what's going to come through. If I turn on painted as well, let's see here. So my opinion, dirt should be black unless the actual dirt is showing. So I wonder if this gradient is somehow interacting with it in a way where it's like not happy. Let me see what color the dirt is. Oh yeah, so the base color for the dirt is actually really dark. Um, or sorry, not the base color. You wanna look at dirt. So you can see how we've added a dirt channel, right, to this layer. And because that's there, now we have to take into account this property. So just to recap a little bit, you add the dirt channel, you tell this layer at the top that it's a dirt channel, it's in that channel for the material. And then you need to go down and make sure that it's white because we're just looking at masks. So it's either black or white, depending on like how you want to sort your mask value. So we got that. And then we also have the gradient 
uh, or the inside as well, combined with the two, with the, the inside and dirt are combined. So now we've got that dirt's working. If we go to paint damage, we're not seeing anything here. So we need to go down to paint. Let's alt click on this and just see where this is at. Cool. So now if we, if we need this one, we just click on the layer again, right click, tell it that it's painted. And then for the paint, turn it up to white. And uh, that's where paint is quote unquote, right? So we've got, we've technically got both of these channels working. We've got dirt and we've got paint damage working. So we'll go to file and then we'll export textures or control shift E. And you'll see that uh, you can do, you'll have all these templates, right? And this is, this is the part that I think a lot of people can kind of get confused on as well. I, I mean, I catch myself also at times. So, so I've made a, a preset. If you don't have a preset, you can just hit plus. I put a zero in front of it. That way all my presets are near the top. Uh, I'm just going to go to empire packs and what I want is a packed texture that's got like the ambient occlusion in one channel, the dirt in another channel and the, um, the paint mask in another channel, right? So that's three, that's three channels. Um, we're going to do R plus G plus B that way they're separated like this. And we'll just call it like, I don't know, mask. Um, let me cut that out real quick. If you click this little guy and you say uh, project and then underscore mask, project will be replaced by whatever the asset was called that you imported in. So for naming conventions, I can make it a little bit easier. Now you have to remember like which, which uh, user, this is kind of a bug in my opinion, but which, which user map you assign for dirt and paint. Right, because all I'm seeing is user zero and, and user one. So with that, uh, let's let's close this real quick. We'll double check it. Dirt, if you mouse over, we'll say user zero and then paint is user one. Okay, so control shift E. Now we're back to here. And uh, that is packed down now. Let's just do this again. Okay, so red, we're just gonna say the ambient occlusion is here. It's a great channel. Uh, if, if you had ambient occlusion that was generated through like, um, anchors, then you're going to be looking at mixed ambient occlusion, mixed AO here. Uh, and if you have that in the channels, you need to have ambient occlusion as well. Just that way substance painter knows what you're trying to export. So for the green channel, we're just gonna, we're going to put the user zero and then for the the um blue channel we're gonna put user one so let's let's actually just see if this this works because sometimes i'm like wait a minute i forgot something so you go to settings you tell it where to export and then you tell it which exporter to use we're gonna do packs and then you want your dilation up that's like the padding around the outside of your UVs and make sure it bleeds out a little bit. Let's just hit export on that and see if anything comes out. So you have like a button here that says open output directory. I've already got it on the left here. Let's just bring out Photoshop and see if we got something out of this. Right. Okay. So now we're looking at this. This looks correct to me, but let's, let's just double check. So in the red, we've got our ambient occlusion In the green, it looks like we've got our dirt. And in the blue, we've got where the paint is. And that's, that's how you pack. That's how you pack maps uh, in Substance Painter. The other thing is you can do a RGBA. And in the ambient occlusion, you can drag in another, another map, right? So, but yeah, hopefully that was useful. This video was uh, about twice as long as I expected it to be. But there's a lot of little nuances and details. So, yeah. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one.